gas system has to be fixed and uh, you know the people of Pakistan have to learn uh, to pay the price of gas. It's uh, the way, uh, with the inefficient way we have used gas. Uh, today we are using gas in our kitchens and we don't have uh, gas to feed our uh, bar plants. And the bar plants remain shut, it results in uh, more inefficient generation, higher cost generation, and people have to face load shedding. So these are longer term decisions, but the solution has to start today. And there is a, um, a very serious um, anomaly here. 22% uh, of Pakistan, or some, somewhere around that range, have gas in their homes. There's a much, there are many more households which use LPG. And uh, the cost of LPG uh, for a uh, home, for the protected pricing that we have of 180 rupees, the, uh, the person who uses LPG pays about 20 times more. So there's a huge uh, disparity here uh, that we need to address. Again, uh, it needs political support. And that's why I always say that there should be uh, some level of uh, uh, agreement on what we need to do. The uh, energy is a large part of any economy. It's a it's a much uh, greater part of Pakistan's economy because of the size of the economy that it, it, it is in most other countries. So the energy system is not efficient. If it does not deliver solutions, uh, then you the, it drags the whole economy down. Which is exactly what is happening to us when we. Don't sell, when we sell gas below cost price, it drags the gas companies down. It drags the oil exploration companies down. It drags the banks down. When uh, our biggest problem, the issue is number one, is the gas uh, sector not being able to recover its cost. And the second is the uh, power sector, which is really dragging the whole country down. Uh, it's bankrupting the the oil companies, the oil marketing companies, you know, uh, putting the great stress on the bank, on the banks, and uh, you know, we all think about it, we all talk about it, uh, we are unable to find solutions. And the solution is multifaceted; it's not one simple step which will fix it. Uh, but I think the first step has to be uh, some level of privatization; otherwise, uh, they're not going very far. If you look at the nine discourse or 10, uh, 4 contribute to 80% of the problem. And uh, I think this is where the provinces have to take responsibility also. So it's a constitutional issue besides being a technical or a, uh, efficiency issue. And I think this is where uh, the regulators have to show some level of leadership on how to uh, fix the issues both in the gas and the, and the power sector. They're, they're very serious issues. They're dragging the economy down there. Uh, putting a great, great stress on the Pakistan's financial institutions. Uh, um, um, successfully all over uh, Pakistan and uh, internationally as well. I would like to request Mr. Naim Qureshi, Editor-in-Chief Energy Update, for his welcome note and vote of thanks to the working participants and the chief guest. Mr. Naim Qureshi. Uh, <clears throat> thank you very much, Ms. Alima. Uh, Motram Shahid Khan Abbasi Sahab, Chairman Task Force Energy, Prime Minister of Pakistan, Mr. Iqbal Zed Ahmed, 